Hangovers in space are not as bad as on Earth. The way things escalated yesterday was really, really weird. I thought I knew these people, but something made them completely lose control. This is well in line with Seifer's findings. Taping one's thoughts and listening to them by oneself could externalize the troubles, making them easier to handle. Testing a personal dialogue therapy. Today I've not felt guilt from the 
surviving the Europa incident. There are days when I can accept the fact that I couldn't do anything else. But then the pressure of publicity pushes me back into anxiety. I hoped I could just stay away from I could forgive myself. After carefully constructing a timeline of the unusual behavior of the people here, since the piece of the entity was brought into the lab. I've come to a conclusion. The MRI scans and measurements of common hormone levels all indicate that everyone here is experiencing the same condition, homesickness. The entity is affecting our brains, which leads to changes in our moods and desires. Everything's amplified after we brought the sample here. And the people that have been closest to it have experienced the most severe effects. Symptoms that were initially weak and varying have now coalesced and strengthened into severe homesickness. I think we need to get rid of the entity. I have studied the gravity beam, and I am fairly certain I can use it to destroy the sample. Karen Kowalski. I am a technician here in Research Base M. I don't know how, but it looks like everyone has disappeared. I was building the platform below the lab and then...
tried to keep Amy's research work going on here. Even with the lack of light, the plants seem to be doing fine. But the bees are behaving strangely. They seem to spread some kind of luminescent dust. Well, they are keeping out of reach, so I haven't been able to catch one to examine, but I'll keep trying. If this is some kind of experiment, I wouldn't mind it ending soon and the rescue team coming through the airlock. A week feels like a month when you're alone in the dark. <laughs>